In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a case uh, for the MCCQE Part 1, in particular the CDM cases, which are clinical decision making cases. So after you log in to the developer portal, right here in the drop down menu, click CDM QBank for, uh, for the MCCQE Part 1. And then click on New Question Case, and that will load up the template. And this template is a very straightforward, uh, very easy to use uh, template, and I'll show you how to use it. Now before you get started, you can click on the Documents, which is up here. Let me enlarge the screen to show you. Um, up here in the top uh, right corner, there's a tab called Documents. If you click on that, uh, there's a lot of documents that open up. And these documents have been uploaded here to help you uh, develop your case. So you have guidelines, you have uh, uh, sample uh, CDM cases, and the various other documents that will help you. In addition, we have uh, instructional videos here, one of which you are watching right now. And at any time, you can contact us by clicking this tab, and we can guide you. So let's get started with the uh, template. So the very first thing in this template that you will need to choose is right here uh, in this drop down menu, you need to choose a subject. So we can just choose any subject at this point. And then once that is chosen, another drop down menu appears, which is topic. And here's a long list of topics. And these are topics that we need cases developed about. Um, if it says this topic is in use, what that means is that another question writer, another case developer is already using that topic. Um, but if that is not mentioned, that means you are free to use that topic. So I'll just choose one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now the next part is the, uh, the opening stem. And that's what you would enter in this box. Now, you have a choice. It's up to you, whatever you're most comfortable with. You can either directly type it onto into this box. 12-year-old uh, child presents with three-day history of blah, blah, blah. Or, if you want, you can type it out separately into a document and then copy and paste. And that's what I've done. So. What I've done is I've already written out a CDM case. Here's the opening stem right here. Here's the questions and here's the answer choices. And here's the explanation. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy and paste. So I'll copy the opening stem. I'll go back to the template. And uh, let me delete that. Now to paste you would have which is paste as plain text. If you click on that, uh, a new window will pop up, you paste your text, and then click OK down here, and you're done. And then you can always make paragraphs and click on this tab to justify the text. And that's it. That's the opening stem. Now the next part of the case that you will either type in directly or cut and paste is the explanation. And that's what goes into this box. Well, I've already typed out my explanation, and um, it's all down here, so let me copy and paste it. And there you go. Well, I made a mistake. I didn't to paste it as plain text. Maybe it's a good thing that I made that mistake, because I don't want you to make it. So you click on paste it, that icon, paste it in there, and then click OK. And there you go. And like I said before, you, once you paste it in, um, you can modify it as you please. Um, you can delete things or add things, make paragraphs. You know, and that's fine. I mean, take your time, do whatever changes that need to be made. You can justify the text by highlighting it all and then clicking on this tab which justifies it. And um, that's uh, the second part. And then the third part here is just adding a, a reference. So whatever reference you use, so uh, manual of pediatrics, um, author's name comes first. So uh, 
James uh, Smith. Uh, year of publication 2008, pages 134 to 180. That's really all you'd have to enter, and then click Save. Once you click Save, it saved the opening stem, the explanation, and your reference. Now you have to start adding in the questions. So what you would do is click on Add Question right here, and that will open up a different part of the template to enter your question. Now CDM questions, if you read a little bit in the about them already, you'll note that they're a little bit different than standard questions because they have so many answer choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the first CDM question and that's the uh, the question. Now it comes to the answer choices. Now the answer choices are you can enter as many uh, as few as six and as many as 30. The average is between 15 and 20 answer choices and please enter them in alphabetical order. Um, so here's my uh, case and I'm going to enter them one by one. Um, so you'd enter them one by one into the template or you type them in whatever is easier for you and and you just one by one just type it in or paste it in and then once you get to the sixth one you'll notice you'll have to click on this add option button to get to more options and you can enter as many as uh, the maximum the minimum is six the maximum is 30 but on average you're looking about 15 to 20 uh, answer choices for each question and I'm up to number nine so just uh, a little bit longer and I'll have added all of them and I've got about three more so add and I've got about two more now you um, add them all in a CDM question the number of correct uh, answer options is between two and seven and um, we've even given you some instructions here that you can read now in this question I have one two three correct uh, answer options and they are the second one the fourth one and the tenth one so down here I have to select which are the correct ones so it was the second option the fourth and the tenth and so HSP was correct uh, number four which is juvenile idiopathic arthritis and number ten physical abuse now that's what you would check down here now before you click on save questions there's something else you have to click on it's very important right here there's two options here either you write you, you click on the first one which is select up to and in this case since there was only three you would put three or you can select this one which says select as many as appropriate now you might say well what's the difference well the difference is that if you select the first one and say three what you're doing is you're telling the examinee you're telling the test taker what's the maximum number of correct options if you select this one which is select as many as appropriate you're not telling him or her how many answer choices are correct they just have to intelligently decide whether they need to select one or two or three or more so if you select the second one you're making the question a little bit more difficult and challenging and uh, the reason these two options are in place is because if the examinee selects more than the correct number they get a score of zero so for example in this question there's three correct answers but if they were to select four or five, they would get a score of zero. And then uh, similarly, each CDM case has three questions. The first question I just entered, 
and then similarly I wrote two more and uh, you click on save question one and then that's it it saves the first question to add your second question you would add the second question by clicking right here add new question and then the exact same way you entered the first one you'd enter the second question and at any time like I said if you have any questions contact us is right there in the top right if you have any uh, other uh, information that you need such as sample CDM cases or more information about how the CDM cases are created you can click on the guidelines right here or the sample cases.